Dino Charger engaged. This will maybe be the only time a male will be using the power of a pink ranger unless Saban uses the new um, the Power Ranger series dealing with trains. Welcome back to another Power Rangers vlog. This time, this is, sorry my brain's just all scattered, I'm trying to get through everything. The episode is a pink, is Shelby's episode. And the episode's called, Let Sleeping Zords Lie. A play on on the word, Let Sleeping Dogs Lie. Meaning that if you don't, if you mess with the sleeping animal, it will attack you. And basically this is what happens. They're basically still trying to find the other Energems, and they were nice enough to tell us what are the other five. So that's nice enough to tell us what are the other five Rangers, so we're going to have to take a guess who's number six. Unless you've seen the Japanese version, then you already know who number six is. And if you paid close attention, you would find out. Anyway. We also discovered that Shelby wants to do an excavation dig, yet she does not want to do the work. Weird, so the first episode was actually contradicting. Well, anyway, she decided to go back to the museum to think of a smarter way to find it by using energy signals. While at the same time, Toxandra, I'm still guessing what her name is, thought of a smarter idea of getting the energy gems. And lucky for them, they were, during the same time, they located the gem, I meant a Zord. Kendall and Shelby created a device to find the Ankylosaur, basically the Aqua Ranger. That's a color you never heard of, I meant that was never heard of in American Ranger history. And the Aqua Ranger Zord is an Ankylosaurus, the club-tailed one, for those who don't know. If, and dinosaur, sorry. They were able to locate it, but at the same time, Sledge was able to hack the system and find its location. So, with the Zord on the woken up, that means somebody has the Ener Gem, but not knowing what's going on. Makes sense. Would you know what's going on if a crystal glowed and you're like, Whoa, what am I supposed to do with it? What am I supposed to do? Oh well. But yeah, they found the... Zord and they're meeting the monster of the week. I did not catch its name fast enough because they only like said it once. But it's a bug-like creature whose stings can cause you to go pure rage. And ironically it was funny that they shot the caveman, the one who has the more strength out of all of them. After they discovered just remove the needle, you're cured. They have to now take it off of a giant Ankylosaurus Zord. So it's like, oh crap, you gotta take it off that thing. Shelby was blaming herself that she let the Ankylosaurus get noticed, but it was also Kendall who didn't encrypt it, so both to blame. So Kendall's idea, deal with, get the stinger off the Zord, with Shelby following, doing a remembrance from the first episode of her sneaking on. And at the same time, the monster's known that the Ankylosaurus is still in that hole. I don't know why, it just did the <gasps> bust out of the hole what, after they all ran it. Like, <laughs> I'm just questioning that one. I know, are Ankylosauruses diggers? If they love being in the hole? But anyway. Yeah. Shelby got knocked into the hole while Kendall is fighting the monsters, which I can report she's lasting longer than Tyler did with a shovel. Then again, she fighting minions, he fought a monster. Yeah, yeah, I know there, there's something else, but I'm calling them monsters because they're originally based off of. As soon as the rangers show up, they're ready to fight back. Shelby managed to get the stinger off the Ankylosaurus, though I wish they could at least shown us that she got it off. It felt a little anticlimactic. But at least Shelby was able to do the finishing blow onto the monster with her drill. And then the giant monster fight. As usual. This time they're using the Ankylosaurus, which I'm thinking, don't you need the ranger with the freaking battery to use the Zord? 
because they're supposed to get the battery, throw it, and the Zord will activate by throwing the battery in. Then again, the T-Rex did that same thing, so we're not going to judge, but fusing is the same situation. Anyway, they used their new hammer technique to kill the monster by, I'm wondering how launching it into orbit with the hammer explodes it. Whatever. The monster's saved, they've defeated, they've saved the Ankylosaur, no clue what's going to happen to it now, because we have no clue where the Zord's located. I'm at the ranger who has the power located, I'm wondering who's going to be the ranger for that one. Since in the Japanese version, the Aqua Ranger was an Caucasian, I'm in mean a Caucasian male, so it's like weird looking at it. I'm just saying. I watched some of the Japanese version, and when I see the, the Aqua Ranger, I'm like, is that a Caucasian male as a Power Ranger in Japan? It is rare, I'm sorry. But yeah, I know I'm talking to divert and everything. I should have said the one finishing part, which was well, kind of funny that they got away with. Because of the device that Ken Shelby and Kendall made, Shelby got a gift. A fossilized piece of a triceratops. Dumb. <laughs> they gave her fossilized poop, which they're saying it's rare as hell, and I'm thinking maybe it is rare, and she shattered rare poop. And I don't blame her. I would not want to know that you gave me poop. And also, Coda's grandfather invented the wheel. Okay. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. And that's the weirdest way they're trying to put in case man communicated. Whatever. How I feel about this episode, it's not that bad. It did felt like more Shelby was still on the right because throughout the whole time she said she was working smart, but some of the times it felt more like she was just working lazy. I'm sorry. I'm still thinking. Maybe if they would have fixed it, tweaked it a little, but still. It felt like Shelby was still in the right, even though she was lazy most of the time. But she was brave enough to take the responsibility of her screwing up, so I'll give that one a pass. Still not the worst Ranger episode, I'll give it that. And also, for those who actually paid attention truly of the Ankylosaurus gem cult number, since all these little things have numbers on it, Ankylo is number seven, so he's not the sixth Ranger. So, yeah, even before, without cheating, I know he wasn't the, set, the sixth ranger. All I can say is it's not that bad of an episode. Shelby does get a style of a comeuppance, so I can't hate it for being a little lazy at points. The monster, he barely got any info about the monsters. All we know was it was like a bug-like creature with a triton, and anytime it stung someone, they go into pure rage and attack anyone in its path. Yeah, I know the monster aren't supposed to be all given big backstory, but at least given some details or at least an attitude. All I can say is about the Ranger series is that this episode, eh, it's watchable. And all I can say, stay tuned for the next next weeks to see what Ranger episode we're gonna get and if we're gonna get more information of the Zord or the next ranger. So until then, signing out.